random variable. 9.3 continuous random variables. Okay, learning outcome. Find the cumulative distribution function. B. Sketch the graph of cumulative distribution function. C. Find the probability density function from a cumulative distribution function. And D. Find the median from from cumulative distribution function. Okay, what is cumulative distribution function? Okay, definition. If x is a continuous random variable with probability density function fx from negative infinity to infinity value of x, then the cumulative distrib distribution function of x is given by capital F equal to probability capital X less than or equal X means, this one means integrate from negative infinity because, because the function uh, range from negative infinity to infinity so we start integrate from negative infinity to X fx dx or we integrate okay, X to Okay, not if cumulative distribution function capital F is in fact given by the area under the curve Fx from negative infinity up to X as indicated by the shaded region. Okay, capital F cumulative this means from negative infinity to X. Okay, this Capital X, this area means negative infinity to X. Okay. Okay, number two. Probability for capital X less than A means X is anywhere here. Okay. Equal to probability X less than or equal A. So, equal to capital F A. You just substitute the value of A to capital F. Okay, number three. Probability X between A to B included, okay, equal to FB minus FA. FB minus FA. Why FB minus FA? Because, okay, we want to find the probability from A to, to B. Okay, find probability from A to B. We include or not include, doesn't matter because this one is continuous. Okay, FB capital FB means from negative infinity to B. Okay, this one is F, F, B. Okay, F, A means from negative infinity to A. So, this one is F, A. Okay, means F, A also include in the F, B. So, how to find this area or this probability only? So, F, B, okay, all this one minus FA, so we get A to B. Okay. Okay, how to find the median from the cumulative distribution function? Okay, if the median is M, then integrate from negative infinity to M, Fx, okay, small f, the x equal to 0 0.5. Okay, this one we use from small f. Okay, which means capital F M equal to zero. You, if we have the capital F cumulative distribution function, we just substitute M to the capital F, then equal to 0 0.5 because median is in the middle. So 0 0.5, then we substitute, then equate 0 0.5 and simultaneous apa semua, equal to 0 0.5 and um, simplify we get the value of m for this one you have to integrate from the small f you have to integrate equal to 0 0.5 ok example 1 x is a continuous random variable with the probability density function ok this one small f Okay, the function 1 over 2 times 2 minus x from 0 to 2. And 0 is otherwise. Find the cumulative distribution function 
F capital F and sketch the graph capital F calculate probability X between 1 and 1 to 1.5 and 5 median ok the first one find the cumulative how to find the cumulative function ok to find cumulative function ok the range only have 0 to 2 ok now we start to find cumulative Okay, we start uh, T or we start T, okay, T less than 0, okay, because the interval start from 0 to 2, okay, this means there is no function less than, less than 0, because uh, given function from 0 to 2, 0 is otherwise, so capital F, T equal to integrate from negative infinity to 0 uh, sorry negative infinity to t negative infinity to t means before 0 before 0 is any value is t the function is 0 dt why 0? because there is no function less than 0 so we get 0 ok next Next interval is 0, t, 2, 2. Okay, f, t. Okay, for this interval means you have to integrate from negative infinity before 2. Before 2 means any value is t. f, x, t, t. Okay. So, equal to, so we have to separate the interval or limit. Okay, first negative infinity to 0. There is no function from negative infinity to 0. dt plus, okay, before 2. Next, integrate from 0 to t. Means, before 2 is any value is t. The function is 1 over 2. 2 minus x dt ok so this the first in, uh, integrate same as same as above ok ok so we just this one we just write 0 or no need to write anything ok you just integrate for this one Okay, 1 over 2 is a constant. Integrate 2 minus x, we get 2 minus x square over negative 2. Limits from 0 to t. Okay, simplify negative 1 over 4. Okay, substitute the limit. So, we get 2 minus t and minus 2 minus 0 square. Bracket. So, negative 1 over 4. Okay, this one square. So, we get 2 minus t square and minus 4. Okay, then simplify. 1 over 4 times negative 1 over 4. So, we get positive 1 over 4. Sorry, sorry. Neg negative, negative. So, positive 1 minus negative 1 over 4 times 2 minus t square so 1 over 4 ok no need to expand ok the answer in terms of t ok the last one is t bigger than 2 ok this one also there is no function bigger than 2 so f t equal to means integrate from negative infinity to t f t f x dt equal to we just take from the above function ok means ok negative infinity to t means integrate from negative infinity to 0 there is no function dt plus integrate from 0 to 2 
f x dt plus integrate from 2 to t from more than t more than 2 there is no function is 0 t t ok the first interval 0 and the last interval 0 so in the middle 0 to 2 means you just write or you just substitute t equal to 2 ok no need to integrate you just use the above ok so 1 minus 1 over 4 2 minus substitute t by 2 ok then we get this one 2 minus 2 0 then we get 1 ok that's mean we are correct integrate because finally miss uh, should be get 1 ok ok from the capital F ok we write <coughs> in the piecewise function ok capital F x equal to ok the first interval is x less than 0 the capital F is 0 and x between 0 to 2 the capital F is 1 minus 1 over 4 1 over 4 2 minus x square ok the last one is more than 2 so x more than 2 function is 1 ok next we want to sketch the graph function capital F ok the number x already 0 and 0 and 2 ok y axis capital X x axis is x y axis capital F ok x0 and 2 ok the function capital F is quadratic uh, negative 1 over 4 so this quadratic is maximum so make sure you sketch the graph maximum less than 0 ok 0 more than 2 is 1 ok in between 0 and 2 the graph quadratic maximum when x equal to 0 substitute here we get 0 1 minus 1 0 when x equal to 2 so we get 1 ok 1 is here so the graph is maximum ok maximum graph ok more than 2 is constant 1 ok constant 1 so this function is 1 minus 1 over 4 2 minus x square ok next to find the to find the probability uh, question C to find the probability x between 1 to 1.5 so 1 lies in the interval 0 to 2 so here is 1 and 1.5 is here ok from the notes cumulative distribution ok probability x between 1 and 1.5 ok we can use cumulative function so equal to capital F 1.5 minus capital F 1 ok because ok 1 1.5 ok ok negative infinity to 1.5 is capital F 1.5 negative infinity to 1 is capital F 1 so we want to find 1 to 1.5 so f1.5 minus f1 so equal to f1.5 substitute 
1.5 so 1 minus 1 over 4 2 minus 1 over 2 uh, sorry 3 over 2 square minus bracket 1 minus 1 over 4 2 minus 1 square close bracket ok simplify 1 minus 1 ok so we get negative <coughs> 4 minus 3 1 over 4 1 over 2 square so we get 1 over 4 so negative 1 over 4 4 16 ok minus minus so we have plus 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. Ok, 4, 16. Ok, 4 minus 1, we get 3 over 16. Ok, make sure your answer less than 1 and more than 0. Ok, find median. Ok, question D, find. Ok, probability X between 1 and 1.5 is equal to capital F 1.5 minus capital F 1. Okay, so substitute 1.5 to capital F is 1 minus 1 over 4 bracket 2 minus 1.5 square. Okay, then minus again. Bracket 1 minus 1 over 4, 2 minus 1, substitute x equal to 1, square, close bracket, 5, 1, 1 minus 1, okay, negative 1 over 4, 2 minus 1.5 is 1 over 2 square, minus minus, so plus 1 over 4, 2 minus 1, 1 square is 1. So, negative 1 over 8, no, sorry, negative 1 over 16 plus 1 over 4. Okay, 4 minus 1, 4 minus 1, we get 3 over 16. Okay, times 4, 4 over 16. Make sure your answer is less than 1 and more than 0. Okay, number D, find the median. Median. So, median is FM. Okay, FM. So, where is uh, M is located? M is located in the interval 0, uh, zero to 2. So, from 0 to 2 means we use the capital F 1 minus 1 over 4. So, equal to 1 minus 1 over 4, 2 minus substitute x by m square equal to 0 0.5. Okay, simplify 0 0.5 minus 1, so negative 1 over 2 equal to negative 1 over 4, 2 minus m square. So, negative, negative, positive. So, we get 2 equal to 2 minus m square. Then, square root. So, 1 over. 1 over set 2. Then, minus 2 equal to negative m. So, m equal to 2 minus 1 over set 2 ok 2 minus 1 over set 2 equal to 1.293 ok so m in between 1 and sorry m in between 0 to 2 